So it's a problem that I made up. And I want to find what is the voltage right here. If you recall from circuits one, I said if you decide to use seven and your goal is to take this circuit, now chop it right here and replace that, bless you, replace that with the voltage source of V7 and this will be an AC source in series with, a res oh, well now it won't be a resistor, it will be what? Uh, Impedance, Z equivalent, yep. So this will be Z7N. In circuit one, we call the R7N. Now we call it Z7N. So I'm going to draw a box there. And there's that resistor of 5 ohms. And the question is, how do you find V7 and how do you find Z7? Now, when you chop this circuit, let me, let me transform that and chop it at the same time. I'm going to change it to a phaser and I'm going to take that resistor out at the end. This will be 9 angle 0. Remember, the capacitor is what? 1 over J omega C or negative J over omega C. So here, omega is 20 and C is what? 250 milli. So 1 divided by parentheses 20 times 0.25. That's point negative 0.2J. Three. Actually, wait, that's, um, that's impedance, isn't it? You just did a little, like a resistor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. And this one will be what? Negative 0.2J, same value. That source is 0 0.01 times I, and I happens to be this current going through that. Now the inductor For the inductor, the impedance is what? J omega L. Omega is 20. L is 70 milli. 20 times 0 0.070, 0, 70 milli. 20 times 0 0.07, 1.4 J. I need to have a nice that one. I need to take this one and replace it with V7 and Z7. Now, V7, and we always say, is what? V open circuit. It's the voltage right there between the top and the bottom. That's where your V7 is, which is V open circuit. And you can use any technique that you want. Well, if you look at that, you only have two unknowns, really. If this is ground, if this is your ground, What's the voltage right here? Nine angle, Nine angle zero. What's the voltage right here? Nine angle zero minus point oh one I. Or in 
terms of V7, and what is that? You're right, that would be the value there. Nine angle zero minus that number. So you want to use that? I'll tell you, which is V7N, right? So the voltage there is really V7N, which is nine angle zero minus 0 0.01 times I. That's what V7N is. And this is one node here. We'll call it VX. Now, I'm going to assign current in any direction I like. Doesn't really matter. I was defined the current going that direction. I can't change it. I got to leave it because that source depends on it. But what about through this, through this, through that? Which way you want it? You want down? Doesn't matter. We'll call this I1, I2. What about that one? Up or down? You choose. Down, I sub 3. So I assign current moving top to bottom. No reason I could have made this going up. I could have made this going up. If my value is negative, it's the wrong direction. It's backward. It doesn't change anything that we did. So I'm going to do KCL of this node. I'm only going to have one equation one unknown here. KCL at that node. at Vx. Now, current N, if you take all the current going N, should equal all the current leaving. The current going in, I see what? I plus what? I sub 3. And what's leaving? 1 and 2. What is I? Nine angle zero? Minus Vx over negative point two J. I sub three. Mm, I should have left some room for me. Maybe I'll put I sub three on this end because I'm gonna run out of space. What's I sub three? It's this voltage minus this. So it's 9 angle 0 minus 0 0.01i minus what? Vx, Vx divided by 1.4j. This voltage minus this divided by that. Bless you. What's I sub 1? Vx minus 0 over 3. I sub 2. Vx minus 0 over what? Negative 0.2j. Again, now just playing with the math. And by the way, now I have one equation by two unknowns, right? Vx and I. Mm -hmm. But what is I equal to? Isn't I that current, which is 9 angle 0? Minus what? Vx over what? Negative 0.2j. And if you take the minus j to the top, it becomes a plus j. 9 angle 0 minus Vx over 0.2. When you divide by 0.2, that's the same as multiplication by 5. 5 times 9, 45 angle 0 minus 5 Vx.
Now let's see if we can do the math. J in the bottom here. So I'm taking this equation. J in the bottom, and you bring it to the top, becomes a negative J. I'll come back later and do that substitution. 9 angle 0 minus 0 0.01i, I'll plug it in later, minus Vx over 1.4. This will be j on the top, will be actually 5j. If you divide 1 over negative 0.2j, it's 5j. 9 angle 0 minus vx. This is 1 over 3vx, or vx over 3. And this will be what? 5j again. What's 3 times 1.4 LCD? 4.2. So let's multiply everything by 4.2 to get rid of these fractions. Negative 4.2j. Oh, my mistake. 4.2 divided by 1.4 is what? 3. Three. Negative 3j, 9 angle 0 minus 0 0.01i minus vx plus 4.2 times 5, 21j, 9 angle 0 minus vx equals 1.4vx plus 21jvx. So the fraction's all gone if we did it right. Now get the calculator ready. Then we'll collect like terms after that and see what we can do. Negative 3j, so here we go. Uh, 0 comma negative 3. Multiply that by 9 angle 0. I get 27 angle negative 90. This will be what? Plus 0 0.03i is it? 3ji. Minus times a minus, that's plus 3jvx. Twenty one times nine, one eighty nine angle ninety minus twenty one jvx. equals 1.4 vx plus 21 jvx. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake here. If I move the vx to one side, all the vx to one side, I will have what? 1.4 VX. Any more one without the J in them? Is that it? 1.4 VX. Let's look at the J. 21 plus 21 is 42 minus the 3. Is that 39? So 
so um, I meant to factor out the Vx out, so 1.4 plus 39j Vx when you factor the Vx out. This, that took care of this, 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 this. Minus 0.03ji equals, that took care of that. And what's left? Let's look at this. That's negative 27j plus 189j. What's 189 minus 27? 160 or 172? Let's see if that's true here. 27 angle negative 90 plus 189 angle 90 degrees. 162 angle, 162. 189 minus 27 is 162, yep. Now 172, 162. Remember, this is negative 90 degrees. That's really negative. When you look at that, this is negative minus 9 is negative 27J. And this is the plus 90 degrees. That's 189J. So when you add them, the result should be J, and that's what the plus 90 degrees is J. So what's 189 minus 27? It's 162. So that's one equation, and there's the other equation. I just got to rewrite this one. This is one. This is the second one. So let's write them nice and neat and see what happens. When you rewrite this equation, the top one, I'm going to do it in my head, negative 5j vx plus i equals 45 angle 90 degrees. J, that's angle 1 angle 90. When you multiply by 45 angle 0, it's 45 angle 90 degrees. J times a negative 5, that's negative 5J. When you move it to this side, it becomes a plus 5J. Right, that's a negative. When you move it to this side, it becomes a plus 5J VX plus the I. That's equation number 1. Equation number two, 1.4 plus 39j vx minus 0.03ji equals 162 angle 90 degrees. And now solve the two equations. So we go to my calculator here, simultaneous equation, two of them, and the coefficient, 0, 0,5 for the first one. The sec, oh, um, the next one, 1, the next one, 45J. The next one. 1.4 comma 39 the next one 0 comma negative point zero three, and the last one 0 comma 162 and you ask to solve it now and it says VX equals 4.5 one five two angle two point three degrees three one and I will be the second one that's twenty four point two seven two angle eighty eight degrees eighty eight point zero two Remember, my goal was to find V7, so I still didn't find V7.
But I said early, V7 and equals what? Nine angle zero minus 0 0.01 times I. See that? So once I have I, I know what V7 and. V7 and is nine angle zero minus 0 0.01 times I. We know what I is, plug it in. Nine angle zero minus point zero one times I, which is twenty four point two seven two angle eighty eight degrees. And if I push all the right button, V seven equals eight point nine nine five angle negative 1.54 degrees. Here's the bad news. That's only one part of the problem. I found V7 in. Now I need Z7 in. Uh-oh. How do you find Z7 in? Well, yep. Notice we have an independent and dependent source. We can't just kill the sources. You can only kill the sources when you only have independent source. When you have dependent source, you have two options. One of them is you find I short circuit and V open circuit or V7 over I short circuit is Z7 in. That's the method I like. You can also put either a current source or a voltage source here. You can apply a source of any number. So if I put a voltage source here, we use that usually when you have a dependent source only. But you can still use it here. So you can put a voltage source here and find the current going up and divide them. Or you can put a current source, find the voltage and divide them. Well, since I already got V open circuit or V7 in, because I needed that anyway, why not just find I short circuit? So I'm going to put a wire, and that will short circuit this for me. And by putting the wire, it's going to take this circuit and make it much, much easier. So let's see what happens when you put a wire there. I shouldn't say much, much easier, but it'll be probably a little bit easier. So what is I short circuit? Because once I have that Z7 in, I can find it by going V open circuit over I short circuit. I know what V open circuit. I already found that. I found it to be 8.995 angle negative 1.54. And once I have I short circuit, I'll divide the two of them, and that's my Z7. So let's put a wire here and see what my circuit looks like. Nine angle zero. Negative point two J. Point zero one I. I is this current again. Three ohms. I'm using even boxes for the resistors. Negative point two J one point four J and now we're gonna attach a wire here and connect it like this. And the question what's that I short circuit?
I could actually combine these two into one, right? Just to make it a bit smaller. The truth actually, when you look at it, this guy also in parallel with them too, right? It's attached right here, attached to the ground. But I don't want to lose it because that's where the current going through it. Mm -hmm. See, if I, tell, if I do the equivalent, where's my eye short circuit? Yeah, I might be in trouble there. Unless I find all these currents and go, okay, current in equals the current out. So I'm gonna just take these two product over the sum. This source also attached from here to the ground too. Because if that's your ground, this is also your ground. It's the same wire. So this is really, this source here is the same one as I can make it in parallel with this one. I'll leave it up there on the top. Add in plan right here. I gotta lower this just a little bit. I is defined this current. I'm going to combine these two, the product over the sum. So let's see, what is the product over the sum? Negative 0.6J. Well, will help if I turn on. Negative 0.6J divided by the sum of them, which is what? 3 minus 2J or 0.2J. Again, if I push all the right button, I get 0 0.1995, how about 0 0.2? Angle, negative 86, 0.2. Yes? It might be just a little bit off there. If you were doing it like for a real job or something, really, I will carry more decimal place. But for the purpose of the homework, you can carry two decimal place. If you're off by 0.1, so what? Okay. As long as the process is good. So when you look at your answer and you're off by 0.1, you know it's just rounding error. Same thing with the test, like when I get the test. Yeah, you can do that with the test. If you carry to just one or two decimal places, it should be fine. You don't want to be carrying all these, especially with the math here, you can see you don't want to be carrying all these decimal places. Yeah. It just gets a little bit ugly. But in workplace, let's say workplace probably use some software that just boom types it in, gives you the right answer. You can carry as many you want to. You know, if that was a job, you know, I'll just carry all of them. You just write the equation, plug them into the computer, and give me the answer as many digits you want to. So now with this, I probably want to use. I can do KCL. I can do well. You know what? Since I'm looking for a short circuit. By null analysis, I mean mesh analysis. I could have done null analysis. I know the voltage here. Actually, that's a super node. So you only have one node right there, and another node right here. We know the voltages, so you're only going to have one equation by one unknown. But I'll go with that just to mix and match. So this is my I short circuit directly right there. I'll call this I1. I'll call this I sub 2. So when you look at I right now, what is I equal to? Hmm? He's out there. What's I equal to? In terms of I sub 1, I sub 2.
Try again. Notice I is going to the right, I sub 2 is going to the left, so it can't be. I'll be negative. Try again. I is I sub 1. I sub 2 minus I sub 1. Be Almost. I sub 1 minus I sub 2. I sub 1 minus I sub 2. This current go in this direction, this current go in this direction. So I equals, so this value really is 0 0.01 times I sub 1 minus I sub 2. I sub 1 is current going to the right, I sub 2 the current going to the left, the opposite direction. It's this one minus that because I want I to be in that direction. So I'm going to do three equations by three unknowns here to get I short circuit. There we go. We'll start with this one. Again, I always use minus to plus as a minus, plus to minus as a plus. Most books will do them backward. It doesn't change your answer. When the current travel is going to travel this, we're going to mark it plus to minus. So here we go. This is negative 9 angle 0. I'm approaching the minus. I'm approaching the plus here, this, so that'll be a plus. And I need the current going to the right. That's negative 0.2j. And what is the current to the right through this one? I1 minus I sub 2. Continue the pattern. Keep going down here. Plus 0.2 angle negative 86.2. And what is the current coming down? I sub 1 minus I short circuit, yes. Clean that equation. 9 angle 0 is equal to, when you move it to that side, it becomes a plus. Let's see what we have for I sub 1. We got this piece and this piece. Can we add them together? Let's see what that number is. Point 2 angle negative 86.2 minus zero comma negative point two and I got point zero one three angle 1.9 I sub 1 what about I sub 2 plus 0.2 J I sub 2 minus 0.2 negative 86.2 I short circuit that's the first equation Again, double check the math. Don't count on me with the math to be correct. But that's equation number one from this loop. You have point zero one three angle one point nine. We had negative point two j plus point two angle negative eighty six point two. I got this is a minus because minus times a minus. Uh, the first one I got, yeah, negative 0.2j, add to it that value. I got 0.399 angle, negative 880. Let me try it again. 0.2 angle, negative 86.2, add to it, 0 comma negative 0.2. 0.3997, yep, 0.4 actually. Angle negative 88.1? Yeah. Yes, I was wrong, yep, I knew. Oh yeah, that's why I said I always do the numbers because I don't trust me with any calculator. 
So this is actually 0 0.39978, so I'll make it 0 0.4. And the angle negative 88.1. The other one's plus, and the other one is minus 0.2, angle 86. Yep. That's equation one. Let's do this loop. Somebody got a different answer? Let's look at that loop. That loop will start with the top. Plus to minus, again, I'm traveling. Clockwise, that's plus to minus, plus to minus, plus to minus. I'm traveling this way. That's plus 0 0.01 times I sub 1 minus I sub 2. That's the top one, right? Let's travel down here. Plus 1.4J. And what's the current through this one? I2 minus I short circuit, yes. Plus the voltage drop here, which is negative 0.2J. What is the current going to the right? Through this one. To the from right to left, I mean I should say to the right. From right to left. There's a phone in that classroom keeps thinking it's driving me nuts. I'm ready to bang on the door. Let's say shut it off. I don't know who's in that room there. Is it vibrating or no? I can hear. I can hear a ding and like distract me. I'm trying to be really focused on these numbers. Like a ding, ding, you know. I'm not a whiner for those people watching me on video. They could probably go, "Is he whining again?" No. <laughs> Let's combine the I sub one together, but you lose concentration. So we have what negative point oh one or plus point oh one. Minus 0.2j times I sub 1, right? Plus. Plus, thank you. Point oh one I sub 1 minus a minus, that's a plus. Let's look at I sub 2. What do we have? Negative 0.01. And we have 1.4j minus 0.2j, right? Is that plus 1.2j? And I sure circuit only see one of them, that's a minus. 1.4j. I show circuit equals zero. The truth is actually mesh analysis, it really it's easy to get to the equation. One or two lines and you have the equation where when we do null analysis, notice you got convert, you got all these ugly fractions and LCDs and all that. So a lot of people prefer this method because of that. It makes the math easier to simplify. And if you have one of those calculators that does three equations by three unknowns, four equations by four unknowns, who cares how many you have? Now let's look at that loop here. I'll remove that in a second. The outside loop. Let's do KCL for that one. SEKCL, KVL, Kirchhoff voltage law. So we're traveling this way. There's nothing on the right side. It's going to come this way, plus to minus, plus to minus. So I'm going this way. That would be plus 0.2 angle negative 86, negative 86.2. And what is the current up there? I short circuit minus I sub 1 plus 1.4 J. And what's the current upward? equals what? Zero. Mathematically, we might have a problem here. We'll see. 
Again, I just made this problem up, but let's see what happens. So when you clean that, I sub 1, I got negative 0.2, negative 86.2, I sub 1. I sub 2, I got 1.4J, negative actually. And I short circuit, I get this plus this. So let me add them. Point, point 0.2 angle, negative 86.2. Plus zero comma one point four. I got one point two angle eighty nine point four I short circuit. Yeah, the math will be up, because you have two unknowns, so you'll have two equations by two unknowns. But you have fractions. You know, we'll notice that I can fit all three here on one. When I did the other one, it took one page just to simplify one equation. So that's why this is like a little bit quicker. Now, especially when I go to this calc, that I go, okay, I got three equations by three unknowns, simultaneous, three equations. And what do I care? You know, if it's three or four equations, just type in the numbers. I go 0.4 angle, negative 88.1. That's done with the coefficient. The next one, 0.2j, 0 comma 0.2, done. The next one, negative 0.2 angle, negative 86.2. Notice the negative sign is really, that's a phase shift of 180 degrees. So if you add 180 to that number, that's what's going to happen. You're going to see that number becomes, what is it, 94 almost, or 93.8? That's what happens. Because the minus sign is nothing more than a phase shift of 180 degrees. The answer is 9 angle 0, which is 9. 9 angle 0 is 9. Now we go to the next one. Coefficient. 0 0.01 comma. 0 0.2. Next one. Negative 0 0.01 comma. 1.2. Next one. 0 comma. Negative 1.4. and a zero. And the last one, negative 0.2, angle 86.2, minus 1.4 J, zero comma negative 1.4, the next one is 1.2 angle, 89.4. And the answer is zero. If everything is good. You explain the negative 93.8, sorry. I will, I will do that. Solve it. And there's my answers. I1 equals well, I can write them in phaser. I1 is 22.52 angle, 88.4. I2 equals 1.72 angle, negative 97.7. I sub short circuit, which is I sub 3, equals 
1.75 and the angle is 88 degrees. And that's all I wanted, I show circuit. That's all I care about for this one. But I had to go through that to get I show circuit. Once I have I show circuit, can I find Z thevenin? Yes. What is Z thevenin? V open circuit over I show circuit. My V open circuit here happens to be, once I find it, 8.995, angle negative 1.54, I short circuit is 1.75, angle 88 degrees. Divide them. If you divide them, exit here, 8.995, oh, it wouldn't help me, I got a parenthesis, 8.995 angle, negative 1.54, divided by 1.75, angle 88 degrees, it's 5.14, angle negative 89.5, almost negative 90 degrees. You know what that means? Negative 90 degrees. That's a negative J. The equivalence actually is a capacitor. The equivalent of that is just a capacitor. A capacitor has a value of negative J. This is actually a negative 5.14 J. And if you know what W is, right, which we know what W is, we can tell you what value of capacitor to put in to replace the whole circuit. Because this one is equal to what? Negative J over WC. We know what W, W was 20 there. So negative 5.14J equals negative J over WC, W is 20. And if I know what C is, I can tell you what the equivalent of that circuit, a capacitor of how big? C actually equals point zero zero nine seven third. So if you take a capacitor of nine point seven millifarad and you put it there, that's where the equivalent of that circuit we put there. We don't have to know that, but that's I'm just telling you why you got a, a value like that, negative J. So the equivalent of this, if you were to find the Z equivalent, you replace that with the capacitor. So now, believe it or not, I have seven equivalent, I have Norton equivalent. I got both. Because if you want the seven equivalent, remember, we said we're going to replace that with V7. And what was my V7? In? My V7 was 8.995. Angle negative 1.54. What was Z7 in? Negative 5.14J. And what was the value of that resistor? We wanted to find the voltage for 5. That's the 7 in. If you want the Norton equivalent, what was the Norton? It's the current source of I short circuit. What was I short circuit? 1.75 angle what? 88? In series with the resistor of what? Impedance of negative 5.14J. We get both actually. Once you find I short circuit and V7 or V open circuit and the impedance, 
You have both circuits, North and North Lebanon. It doesn't make a difference. Well, since I'm looking for the voltage, which one would be the right one to choose? Thevenin, because I can do voltage division. So since I'm looking for this voltage, V, V Thevenin is going to equal to what? Voltage, I mean, V is going to equal V Thevenin, which is 8.995, angle negative 1.54, times that impedance over the sum of them. And if I go to my calculator and do that, ah, 8.995 angle negative 1.54 times 5 divided by the sum of them 5 negative 5.14 J it is going to be 6.272 angle 44.3 degrees